The NBA on Friday announced its finalists for the 2017 season awards, which will be revealed June 26th on TNT. The most surprising list listing was that LeBron James did not finish in the top three for MVP. This isn't necessarily surprising if you've been paying attention to kind of how the race has evolved. Russell Westbrook, James Harden, and Kawhi Leonard finished as the three top finalists. James will still receive a high point total. He's not going to be that far back from whoever winds up third. But given the Cavaliers did finish second, it's not entirely surprising that LeBron, who coasted for much of the season, despite posting career highs in rebounds and assists, did not finish in the top three in what really really was an incredible year for the MVP race. The Rookie of the Year was broken down by Malcolm Brogdon of the Milwaukee Bucks, Joel Embiid of the Sixers, and Dario Saric of the Sixers. Saric is widely considered to be the favorite after Joel Embiid suffered the season-ending injury. For the Sixth Man Award, Eric Gordon, Andre Godala, and Lou Williams are listed as, as the three finalists. With Houston getting two of the selections, which you would think would make one of them the seventh man, Iguodala is widely considered to be the favorite, given that in the past he said that he did not want the award, but changed that this year and said that he would be open to being honored by the receiving it. For Defensive Player of the Year, no surprises here. It's Rudy Gobert, Draymond Green, and Kawhi Leonard. Uh, it should be a tough battle between Green, Gobert, and Leonard for that spot. You'll get votes across the board. Green is considered to be a slight favorite by most. For Most Improved Player, Giannis Antetokounmpo of the Milwaukee Bucks, Rudy Gobert, and Nikola Jokic of the Denver Nuggets round out those selections. Jokic is surprising given that he's only a second-year player. Giannis Antetokounmpo is considered to be the heavy favorite as he evolved into something re in resembling Voltron this season for the Bucks. And finally, for Coach of the Year, Mike D'Antoni of the Houston Rockets, Greg Popovich of the San Antonio Spurs, and Eric Spolstra round out the candidates there. Spolstra obviously leading the Miami Heat back from going 11-30 and 30 to nearly making the playoffs, but they didn't. But yet, the job was still impressive enough to garner votes, while Popovich is still considered to be widely held as the best coach in the NBA, leading the Spurs to the second seed in over 60 wins again in the first season without Tim Duncan, while Mike D'Antoni took the Rockets from being an eighth seed to being a real force in the Western Conference. Those awards will be announced for their winners on June 26th on TNT.